It's May 3rd, 2017. The landlords are going to come back and raise hell again tomorrow. Um, my roommate moved down on May 1st and didn't let me know she was leaving. And she was the one that was leasing the, the duplex. And she sublet to me eight months ago, nine months ago, for $500 a month rent with my cat. And she started causing problems soon after. And I put up with it. And I put up with all the notes and all the telling me I have to pay her bills. That was not the deal. She's a liar. She's a cheater. She steals. And she takes a shower every two weeks, which is really gross. Um, she sticks fingers in everybody's food, no matter who's making it. She's got to stick her fingers in it two or three times, which is disgusting to me. She stole the shower curtain rod. Um, this was her room. It smelled every day because she had her sister's two big cats down here since September from New York. And uh, I guess they were supposed to be permanent residents, which the landlord said they're not allowed to be here. And that's another reason why this disaster happened. The landlord's claiming that she didn't know that I was here, much less the cat, which is a lie. She knew since September and did nothing about it. Um, that's my stuff in the garage, left over from a 10 by 10 storage. I sold and gave away mostly everything I owned. Um, there was a gigantic bed in here, took up the whole room. I don't keep this door open because there's like so many bugs in this room. Uh, and that's the stuff that was in my room before. I was using a bed and two end tables and a dresser that she said I can have and then she told the landlord I wouldn't let her in to take it, and which is a lie. And they took it and they threw it out in the garbage. So now I'm on the floor. Um, this is just stuff that was in my room. Uh, a lot of it was under the bed because they're, they're boats, they're blow up boats and um, skateboards and just things that I keep. Uh, this is the kitchen area, which is filled with bugs. That's my coffee maker. Uh, I'd say we had good opportunity here, but she went and screwed it up. Here's a bug right here, if you can see it. Oh, I don't know where it went now. Probably on me. Now here's another one. This is what crawls around this house. The air conditioning doesn't work. I had to put a deposit on the air conditioner, on the electric yesterday because it was in the roommate's name and she shut it off on me, thinking she was smart, but I got it back on. Um, the landlord is not allowed to shut off the water or the air conditioner, the electric, I'm sorry. I keep saying air conditioner, I don't know why. Um, by rights, I think, as the police explained to me, I have 30 days while she starts the eviction, which I don't want on my record, but at the moment I have nowhere to go because this was thrown on me on May 1st and I thought we had until May 13th to leave, but she changed up the rules and lied and said she told me that it was May 1st if I still had my cat, which my cat died last night at eight o'clock at night and on here she's got a non-refundable pet damage deposit of $200 and I'm supposed to pay the entire 825 rent which I was paying 500 of every month since August. Um, they've been violent, they've been vicious, I've had the cops here three times. Um, they're threatening me, the whole other family is threatening me of this roommate and she just stands there and laughs and she's 66 years old, her name is Dale Mold. I advise you to stay clear of her if you ever see her in Florida. She's a scam artist. She starts little fights and then she gets her family involved at six backs and laughs. Like it's all a joke. And she's already had her brother leave here because of her. She had her daughter leave here because of her. She caused trouble up in Hudson with some guy's mother. They had to move out of there. Um, they tried to get the Mother Baker Act, but Dale's the one that caused the psychotic break in her. 
Uh, I have never been to anything like this in my life. I've never went to anything. I've been here 25 years in this St. Colas Park and I have now seen it all. This is how I'm living. I've got my important stuff right here. That's my bed. My friend next door is letting me use the cushions on her porch. Um, I've got my computer desk. And that's about all I have in here. And I have some crates in my friend's garage, which the landlord also said, I'm not allowed to because it's her house. And then my neighbor was like, I'm renting this house. I can do what I want in my garage. See, everybody's got this jealousy thing going on that I'm not supposed to be friends with the lady next door, which she's a very nice person and I am friends with her and that's that. And nobody's gonna tell me I cannot associate with people. <laughs> um, this is the sixth time I have to move since 2015. Um, the other times it was somebody broke a lease in Punta Gorda, we had to leave. Uh, my friend Drew is in foreclosure for eight years and he got a notice from his lawyer that they, he has to go so we had to leave. I was in a camper and people couldn't call code enforcement because I was on the side of someone's house. So yeah, right now this is my life and having my cat die is bad.